All right, fine. You can play without me. Hm. We're happy to. You're such a baby. Why don't you go and play with this doll instead, huh? Soccer's supposed to be a tough guy sport for super tough guys. Hey, guys! Come over here. We can all play with dolls. Ooh, sounds fun. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, Chico. Stop. Unless you want the world to think you're a dumb little kid, you can never, ever play with dolls. And by never, ever, I mean never, ever, ever let anyone ever see you play with dolls. Uh -huh. I wasn't really going to. It's just that Rosa asked me. And what if she asks you to, um, jump off a bridge? Would you do that as well? <laughs> What's up, fellas? Nothing. Thanks to me. <laughs> that was a close one. You saved me just in time. Anytime. Why don't you come over later? We'll have some tea. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh. 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 Holy carrots! Oh. Crash! Huh? Crash! You forgot your ball! Crash! Uh. <laughs> Crash! Are you home? Oh. Uh. Crash? Uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? 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 It was you, wasn't it? What's that? Please, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't even bother trying to deny it, Rosa. All the dolls at my place were wearing dresses just like this. I did get an order for a bunch recently. From whom? A very mysterious stranger. One who dressed all in black. Coughed a lot. Come to think of it, it could have been anyone in disguise. Ahem. <clears throat> Crash, we've been looking for you. Hmm. And he's gone. Crash! What? Crash, what did you do? It wasn't me. I was totally framed. Where did you go? We've all been worried sick about you. I can't go home until I find out who it was that framed me. Give me your car keys. But I don't have car keys or a car either. Holy carrots. Goodbye, then. A crash, crash. Huh? You could take my bike. Here I go. Crash? You out there?
What's going on here? How do I get out of this? Holy carrots. There's gotta be something I can do. <laughs> you think I'm the prime suspect in Dollgate, is that right? Have you considered you might be looking in the wrong direction? Has it ever crossed your mind that the answer is that there isn't anyone to blame because nobody planted huh? anything? Huh? Well, where did all the dolls come from, then? Obviously, they were yours the whole time. And you've been secretly playing with them. Because you're a little kid. No. No way. Because I'm not a little kid. <laughs> No. Uh, no. <coughs> hey, you're coughing. It was someone dressed in black with a cough that ordered the dresses from Rosa. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't look in there if I were you. Aha! It was you, then. No. It wasn't Darko, and it wasn't you. It was... someone else. But who? It's someone with a master plan. Someone who's trying to create a new world order. Chico, you figured it out. With your chaotic guy brain. Not that it matters. At this point, it's too late for my plan to be stopped. Your crude and cruel tough guy world. Full of pointless, useless fighting and chaotic, gratuitous competition. It's over. Whatever you do, you're racing or hmm. grabbing or pushing or kicking or even punching. And it starts with your toys. All your zooming cars and your slingshots and dart guns and swords. Not every clod of a guy was once a sweet little kid. And if all they ever played with were cute dolls, they'd be sweet and considerate and wouldn't turn into uh, beastly men. Mm. You can't force dolls on us. Hmm. Really? And what if I made a doll so irresistible? No one on the planet could withstand the temptation. Every single muscle-bound thug and jock and hardcore gamer on the planet will forget the brutal stuff they love and never think of anything else but playing and playing with my life-changing doll. And I can make thousands more like it. There's no such thing as a doll like that. Really? And what do you call this? Oh, can I have it? Oh, Please? Oh, can my. I play with my it? I must precious. have it. It must be no. mine. Chico, don't look at it. Look away, Chico. Chico, no! an overdue reckoning coming. Believe me, this world will be mine! <laughs> You'll all thank me in the end. And that's a promise. Hmm. All righty then, hand me your watch. Yes. What are you doing? That was a gift. A watch. Now, one moment. Ah! It wasn't me. I swear. I stole the... Yours? <laughs> yeah, it's clear you broke another watch and hid mine in your sleeve there. <laughs> 
Now the fine art of hypnosis. I need a volunteer. <laughs> me, me, oh, oh, me, me. Listen to my voice. Nothing but my voice. <laughs> this is a carrot. A succulent carrot. And now you're lost. In the woods, you're scared. Now you're walking on burning hot sand. Man, tell him he's a bird. I see him fly. You're a bird. In flight. <laughs> Not possible. It's some kind of trick. He's on some kind of wire, right? Admit it, it's just one of your fake tricks. It really isn't. It's so beautiful. Um, do you remember flying? No, but for some reason I've got this horrible toothache. Well, yeah, you were chewing on a bucket pretty hard. But you don't remember anything at all? Nope, nothing at all. Hmm. Do you remember which muscle groups you were using to fly? I'm telling you, I don't remember anything. Huh? Hmm. Fly, Wally! Uh, fly! Um, uh, uh, <laughs> but I'm not hypnotized. Crash was hypnotized. I'm all the hypnosis you need. Fly! Uh, uh. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Fly! Please try one more time. I've already tried once. You're not susceptible to hypnosis. Some people are susceptible, some people aren't. You're one of the ones who aren't. Is that so hard to understand? But I am susceptible, super susceptible. I'm so susceptible that if you keep insisting I'm not susceptible, I'll stop being susceptible. Come on, just one more time. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> <laughs> See, it worked. You ordered me to go away, and I went. Now just order me to fly. What a pain in the beak. Try to hypnotize me. Maybe I'm a perceptic bull. And just don't make me do anything stupid, all right? Hmm. And now you will dust all the shelves and the piano. I'm actually glad I'm not susceptible. I can just imagine the things you'd have me do. Oh, give me a break. He's happy, you're happy. <laughs> you are very happy. Are you ever going to make him fly? Right after he fixes my roof. <laughs> All right, you've exploited him enough. Let him fly. He's earned it. Come down. That's just not right. You promised. Fly. And you wanted him to take off from the roof. <laughs> So, it didn't work then? <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work the whole time. Because bears and rabbits can't fly. Crash was on a wire or something. He fooled all of us. Uh, your place looks really nice and clean. That's some impressive housekeeping. <laughs> Get down! No. He got up. Oh. He's looking for something. Picked oh, oh, oh. up a cone. Got it. A pine cone. Oh, ah. Hmm. <laughs> Relevant? Um, no. Now he's running. I'm he's about to take off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> now he's just messing with us. Oh, it's a pity that you don't remember anything. 
Flying probably feels amazing, but I know there's no point asking about it. Even if I could remember, what could I say? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Or no, it was too cold and windy. It's one thing to fly, but talking about it is a whole other matter. Let's just play ball instead. If I could fly, I would remember every second. I'd take notes and study them, and I wouldn't rest until I figured out how I flew and then taught everyone else to fly, too. I can't teach you how to fly, Chico. Hmm? I got it! I understood! It was mass hypnosis! <laughs> it was a mass hypnosis! <laughs> Carlin didn't hypnotize Crash that night, but us! So we would think we saw Crash fly! It was all an illusion! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I know who I hypnotized and who I didn't. Then you were hypnotized like the rest of us. <laughs> Crash must have hypnotized you. He must be some secret master of hypnosis, you see? But Daco, he's not susceptible to hypnosis, but he saw it too! <laughs> 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 so I see he's getting sleepy. Help us, Daco Odako. You're our only hope. One witness isn't enough. We will recreate the experiment and videotape it all. Daco! If you are unsusceptible to hypnotism and you aren't working with Crash, you'll unhypnotize us the second that Crash takes off. And how precisely am I supposed to unhypnotize you? Cold water. And if that doesn't work, I suggest the time honored technique of smacking faces. Thanks, Finn. We're rolling. You're getting sleepy, very sleepy. Listen to my voice. Nothing but my voice. He's under. Go on, order him to fly. Yeah, make him fly. Hmm. Fly. Hmm. Water. Can you see the water up there? Oh, dang nabbit! That water's freezing. Are you nuts? <laughs> Look at, look at that. Smack my rack. <laughs> Just take a look at that. Looky! Wow, can you see this? He's flapping his eight wings wings. Uh, run it back. And again, he's off. I've never seen such a flight. <laughs> it's some kind of special effect. Probably some of that CGI stuff. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Hey, anybody? Get me down from here. Oh, cool, my kite! Thousands of years ago in ancient Greece, there was a noble warrior, fierce, brave, and strong. He was proud of being the fiercest, bravest, and strongest. But then another warrior came along, even braver and stronger than the first. He was the mightiest, or so he thought. Then another warrior came to town, and then another one, and then another one, and well, you get the picture. Back then, there was no shortage of noble warriors. As you can imagine, there were a lot of jealous, angry warriors hanging around, which is never a good thing. But then, one day, one of the noble warriors, who was a little more on the ball, came up with a wonderful idea. 
Why not gather all the warriors together at a convenient spot? Say, Mount Olympus, and hold a competition to determine the strongest with medals. That way, there'd be no confusion. Soon enough, word got out, and other countries decided to send their warriors to compete. But it wouldn't be fair to always hold it in Greece, so it was determined that every few years, a different country would host the event. It became an international phenomenon. Soon it was that every country sent their best and brightest to compete in the Olympic Games. In the end, only those that had proven themselves the strongest remained to be celebrated and admired by millions the world over. And that, my friends, is the story of how the Olympic Games came to be. Well, now then, after viewing our presentation, can you guess why I've brought you all here today? That dress is so last year. Knit one. Pearl two. <laughs> knit one. Pearl two. Well, I'll tell you. I think it would be very interesting, just for fun, if we were all to hold our very own Olympic Games. And by all, who exactly do you mean? Why, all of us, of course. Our very own Olympiad. We'll all compete, and folks from all over the world will watch and cheer for us. I ain't much of a sportsman. I threw darts one time, hit the wall. I bet we could come up with a sport for everybody. Hmm. If we're gonna do this, we gotta start training. <laughs> No use, Crash. There's no way I could compete. I'm just not strong enough. Oh. Let's move on. You want to work on gymnastics? Or swimming? Or sprinting? We could work on riding. How could I work on riding? I don't even have a horse. No sweat, buddy. You don't need one. I'll be the rider, and you'll be my trusty steed. Check out Carlin and Olga. They're aiming straight for the bronze. <laughs> Putting together our wrestling team. Are you competing? Yeah. No way. Huh? Uh, 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 Wally! Uh, Care to join me for a track cycling run? No, no, no. <laughs> My friends, the day has finally arrived. It's time for the Olympic Games to begin. Today, we gather in the spirit of competition and good fellowship. Just think, the entire world is watching us at this very moment. Of course, they are watching us by satellite. But nevertheless, they are cheering us on from afar. Here is an opportunity to strive for the best and to show the whole world the greatness inside us all. A final word. Concentrate, remember your training, respect your competitor, and most importantly, have fun. They're really watching us right this moment? Well, maybe not this moment, but as soon as the games begin. Taco, <laughs> don't you think you ought to tell them the truth? Carlin, the truth is sometimes we need a little extra inspiration to get us in the game. Is the opening ceremony song ready? Let's give him some more inspiration, pal. This moment, this breath, this dream, this step is yearning. The drive. To be the best, the pounding in your chest, this burning. The day of reckoning is here, it's finally arrived. Heading for that finish line, you know you've got the drive. You know you've got the drive. You know that you're alive. This fight, this sweat, it's hard, you bet you're in it. This fear must go, come on, let's go, begin it. Every moment of your life has led to this, you see. The path that you've chosen leads you to your victory. This is your victory. Ooh, you're making history. Fire, I know it can burn higher. 
And now that the torch has been lit, let's start the games! You're gonna find out! They're not gonna find out! Not unless you tell them! After all, what does it matter if I told a little white lie? Or a big white lie? What matters is that it got them all into a healthy competitive spirit. And that counts for something. Oh, by the way, are our official Olympic medals ready? Yep. The games are about to begin, Carlin! I've never been more excited! <laughs> His scores are practically off the charts. It's remarkable. A pole vaulting record. He blew the world record holder clean out of the water. And no one witnessed it. What do you mean no one witnessed it? Everybody, get over here! Carlin just said nobody's watching us. This whole thing has been a total sham. But it's not a sham. Look at what you've accomplished today. <laughs> You have all become world-class Olympic athletes. Just think of it. You've all become masters of your chosen sport, right? <laughs> it's all so incredibly inspiring. <laughs> I got to hand it to you, Daco. You had us fooled pretty good, didn't you? <laughs> this whole Olympic thing was a humdinger. There's nothing funny about it, Barry. He's made a laughing stock out of all of us. Uh, gold medals for everybody? Uh, okay. Nice try. So no one saw when I broke the record? Well, we all saw it. Help me out. I've got an idea. Winner, take all. <laughs> Think of it this way. If it weren't for me, you'd still be living flabby, unfulfilled lives. Now you're star athletes. You could probably get a couple of endorsements, or at the very least, you get medals. Medals are good, right? That's a bonus. How dare you? You think you can bribe us? I'm getting at least a bronze, right? Come back here! You know, I really ought to start training myself. I'm out of shape. I think I'm about to have a stroke. Oh, well. At least we have the closing ceremony to look forward to. Olympiad! Olympiad! You look just like a dream I had. Take this torch of fire. I know I can burn it higher! <laughs> so, if I understand this correctly, you are making a wheelbarrow for Carlin for his birthday? You worked so hard and so long, when suddenly you dropped, uh... A kettlebell? Uh, a cactus? Come on, spit it out! It... It was the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, Chico. So you dropped the fridge and broke the wheelbarrow? And now you don't have anything to give to Carlin for his birthday? Well, don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit over a wheelbarrow you're not even going to keep? You don't understand. It was be 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 beautiful. <laughs> but Carlin doesn't know, right? <laughs> 
No. And if he did know, he'd just be upset, right? For sure. So, then there was never a wheelbarrow. However so. Ah, check this. We box up all this stuff and make him build something. And when we give it to Carlin, he'll never know that it was originally a wheelbarrow. It's not important what gift you give, but how you give it. All you need to do is present a good-looking package. Are you guys going to show the ultimate turn? Please come. I'm breaking everything. I'm breaking everything. I'm passing it through. Trust me on this. I'm a yeah, doctor. Chico, this is amazing. The perfect present. Oh, but it's supposed to be a carriage. Don't ruin it, Chico. <laughs> So, you took Carlin's piano without asking, huh? Uh, to play some music? Uh, to go for a ride again? Uh, uh, then you started going too fast, uh, and you couldn't slow down. Uh, so you smacked into the tree. Uh, 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 Is responsible for this? Chico! Thank you, Chico. Thank you for getting Carlin away from that awful piano. Now he won't hurt himself leaning over it and getting blisters from playing too much. And he can finally hang out with his friends more. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you. I really couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. Even a broken piano can look nice in the right package. Now everyone can see your underwear. All of your friends focused on them as they fly in the sky. Oh, wow, those are Olga's up there. I should pay her a visit right now. Yeah, but I don't have anything ready for any guests, dear. Do not worry. What's important is that somehow Chico managed to get your underwear to float so freely and wonderfully through the air. It's truly amazing. We thank you, Chico. No problem. <laughs> oh, you've caught a cold. Uh, no, it's just my nose acting up. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> you have a cold, and it's very serious. Now get in bed. Poor Chico. He spent too much time helping everybody around him. Now look at him. Completely broken. <laughs> It was all too much for him. His poor body is suffering here in this bed. And now, he's done for good. Am I right, Pen? Yeah, yeah. A gunner for sure. Golly, carrots! Crush, Crush, you gotta help me. I'm not sick. I just want to go out and play. They're making me lay in bed and won't let me go out. See, they've got it all wrong. Look at me. I can't just lie around all day. I need to get out. I really tried. And? <sighs> I think the adults must know we've been lying. 
So? Now they're lying about being sick to punish you. All oh, those lying liars. Well, then, let's just give them the truth. Ooh. I've definitely been in a similar <laughs> predicament know that at that age. Yeah, what a know. terrible it's situation. Terrible. It's all part of being a youngster. <gasps> I would like to say... Well, Crash, to be accurate, said that when I broke or burned or wrecked something, that it was for your benefit. Those were lies. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. It just happened, and I really am sorry. But I know I'm not sick, and you should just admit that you're just doing this to punish me. What a horrid disease! He's delirious! That poor hedgehog! Sorry, I didn't mean that. Chico has changed a lot after being sick, hasn't he? Strange, he used to take all our stuff apart to help us out. But now, it's all so meaningless. Meaningless and cruel. <laughs> what do you expect, though? They're just kids, right? Hey. Chico, tell me you did that on purpose. You know, help me out. I'd like to think there was some kind of deeper meaning to it. Like there was some kind of positive force behind it all. Nope, not on purpose at all. Sorry. Yeah. He won't take care of us anymore. Stop it! Would you guys stop pressuring him? Can't you see? He's trying his best to be nice and humble. He does everything for you. Everything. Nothing is meaningless. Nothing is an accident. He does it because he truly wants to help you. Really? Look here, you guys. Now, how did that rocket help us? Oh, I can't believe you guys don't understand yet that Chico is doing this because he thinks that you want to get that for the end of the time. Ah! Now, I finally get it! <laughs> ah! Of course, it was all so obvious. Thank you, Chico! It's no problem. <laughs> you should have put on your rain boots. The path is very, very wet, <laughs> Narco. These puddles are no problem for me, Barry. <clears throat> I can just jump right over them. And rain boots will just take up room in the boat. <clears throat> oh, so you're good at jumping? Yeah. Just look. You simply measure the run, and then you just use your foot to push off. Then you lift off the ground at a 45-degree angle for the best maximum distance. And finally, you stretch your hands out at the last moment to get a bit more push. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that funny, Barry. <laughs> you must have miscalculated the angle, oh. Narco. <laughs> uh, perhaps, but uh, there's nothing funny about me covered in mud. <laughs> oh, possibly injured from that fall. That's mean. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to offend you, but come on. It was hilarious. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!
<laughs> Just a bit more punch. An Ow. animal of good temper can refrain from endeavoring to hurt the feelings of another animal friend. <laughs> and from cracking up? <laughs> yes, of course, from cracking up. I'm going to teach you a valuable lesson in politeness and self-control. I'm not going to smile for an entire week. <laughs> You're not going to last for more than a day. <laughs> the world is too funny, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's because you laugh if someone simply points their finger at you. Immature. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet my entire rod collection and boat that you won't get past a week. You'll be smiling in no time, and I'll have a good laugh, too. It's all. <laughs> You'll see, my friend. Uh, don't go. Let's fish, huh? Nice try, but not funny. Better luck next time. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <gasps> huh? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I wasn't even trying to make you laugh. <laughs> you better hope no one else around here catches you smiling this week. But don't worry, I'll be keeping an eye out. <sighs> Just stand there. You're freaking me out. You are becoming a real pain, Barry. I'm getting very annoyed with you around. Oh, so I see you don't want my boats or my fishing rods then, do you? You just want to make some kind of fool out of old Barry, huh? Well, you're not getting away with it. I'm here to make sure that the bet stays fair. You can't fool me. I see you smiling in the dark, Doco. All right, you can turn the lights back off. But remember, smiling in your sleep counts too. You got that? Well, don't you worry. If you're going to stay here, I will only have the worst of nightmares. Fellas, listen up. I don't like what's been happening to our buddy Daco lately. He's been very dour and gloomy. He hasn't cracked a smile for two days. I tried so hard to cheer him up, but nothing I do seems to work at all. You two are the funniest guys I know, so maybe you can help out. I know I can count on you, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you so want to smile. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> this is what I call comedy. Come on, you got to crack a smile. <laughs> I know you got a laugh inside you. Just wait to come out. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Your juvenile attempts to get me to laugh are quite pathetic. I'm not amused. You got a broken jaw. Huh. What was he doing? <laughs> Laughing. I see, I see. Well, I'll fix it. <laughs> Okay, don't use your mouth for a week. Eat only soft food and drink using a straw. <laughs> oh, and absolutely, positively, no laughing. Well, I heard that laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Doku, you smiled. You lose, you lose. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> More emotion? Mm. 
Mmm! Ha-ha, Doco! You smiled! You lose! You lose! <laughs> I told you specifically not to laugh. <laughs> if you can't do that, <laughs> I'm using the frame. So, you think you're more stubborn than me, huh? You told me you'd never smile, no matter what. There was no risk for you, only for me. I may never laugh again, but my suffering is not going to be in vain. Oh, no. Today, Ducko, you will laugh. Because today, my friend, you will be subjected to the most infectious laughter that you've ever heard. <laughs> He's really not going to quit, is he? What is it you are doing now, my relentless friend? What are you wa- Oh, <laughs> I get it. I see now. I heard your rude laughter had you paying a nasty price, but I had no idea that the gag was so great. <laughs> <laughs> You lose, you joyless, stubborn jerk! You lose! <laughs> <laughs> what a face, Barry! If only you could actually see it! <laughs> now you can laugh. The game is over. You lose! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can't laugh. It's too painful for me. Stop it. I can't hold back for long. Hmm? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. <laughs> Chico, is that you smiling out there? Yep, that's me. <laughs> I didn't know you could laugh so well. I didn't know either, till Barry asked me. You can laugh whenever you want to? I think a good-natured animal should be able to laugh when someone truly needs it. Barry was so upset, so desperate, that I couldn't say no. Oh, <laughs> listen to this one. <laughs> I can't stop! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>